Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, hang on, it's not Thursday, it's Friday, Aaron. What the hell are you saying? Well, due to some upload issues, I couldn't get this video up the other day, so I've edited it a little bit, and today we're going to be looking at what came out in the patch. Now, the thing about the Space Engineers developers is they really listen to what we want, and we've been asking for signs for quite a while, and we were a little bit disappointed with the text block, but now we have got a sign block that has more bells and whistles than a French pony riding backwards on a street saddle. That makes no sense. Right, anyway, we'll continue on and we'll go and have a look. So there's some of the signs. We've got some different functions. We've also got the ability to switch between two panels. So you can see as there's a little Henry docked over there, that one is warning me that I can't actually go into that room where we've got going there. We've got some green lights going on both sides as well. So let's actually have a look at the text panel if we can get in without chopping our tail off. There we go, we're in, and as we actually drive into here, I'll zoom out a little bit, and you'll see the sensors activated, we'll put the little Henry down on the landing pad, oh no, I've broken him already, just, we'll just leave it there, no more, no more Aaron, and we should see that this actual panel has changed as well, there we go, absolutely perfect, showing that there's a Henry dock there, not docked very well, but docked nevertheless. So let's actually have a look at two of the new blocks. Now these are the two new blocks, they're LCD sort of panels, and if we go into our inventory, you can see we've got a small LCD panel, and we have a large one, very interesting. There's also been a little bit of a sneaky update to the actual text block. We can actually do a lot of the things with the text block that we can do with these other panels, but I'll show you it on this much larger screen over here. So we've got one in the background with some just basic sort of blast off information, re-entry sort of facts and fix, there we go. So. I'm going to pop this open. Now the first thing you want to do with these panels is to be able to write in it. You want to be able to set the owner to yourself, so it's already set to me. And then the next thing is we're going to have a public and we're going to have a private title. So it is possible to keep secret messages in these secret GPS locations and we can have it public. So this would be great for if you host a server and you need to get them rules and fictions. And it, it, it's, it's not just a basic sign, that's what's great about it. So we've got a public text box and we've got the private text box and I've put something in the public. Now for everyone to actually read that, we need to go a little bit further down and set that to public there. So now that we've actually set that, you'll see that all day has actually popped up in the top corner. Now, they've not just gone there with the signs. You can actually change the font color or the font color. There we go. So we've got blue. We can go purple, pink. So let's go pink. And you can also change the background color so you can match it to the wall of your station. You can see how it's changing in the background there. And we'll put it to a nice beige. So you've got pink on that beige, you yellowy color. And that is pretty much it for that panel. But now, the panels themselves go even further. So if we go past all the text sort of facts and fiction there, we have actually got some interesting little logos and textures we can actually add. And you can modify and put your own in here. So you could roll logos and different things. So we've just got online set at the moment. So we'll actually set it to arrow. So I'm going to add these all in. So if I add these to the list, you'll see them pop up at the bottom there. I'm just going to add them all in. Did it add danger in? We'll add danger in as well. No entry, construction, and white screen. So then you can actually change the image interval. So you could have it change between two intervals. And we'll just leave it really fast so you can see the different actual shapes. So you've got the crosses, you've got things. Let's, let's slow it down so we can actually examine some of them things. Aaron, you've put them way too fast there. So if we put it onto about that, you'll be able to see a few of the different signs. We've got warnings. We've got all the signs that you would need for a space station. It's absolutely great that they've listened to us and stuck something in like this. But it doesn't just end there. They've also sorted out the round armor blocks. So if we come out to the entrance of this place, you can see that the round armor blocks now look and feel a hell of a lot better. You can see in the inventory here, we've still got the ones that deform at angles. So if we just stick a few of them onto our toolbar, but we've also got the ones that stay their shape and they stay their shape very well. We've also got an inverted corner as well. So this is the inverted corner and that can be used to connect to two sort of round pieces like that. What the hell? Two round pieces like that and then that fits together. But with some of the blocks, the warping is still there and the warping is there for good reason because it allows you to flow two shapes into another like this. So you can get some interesting sort of patterns going at the same time. So you can see the bend. I'm still not a fan of these blocks. Maybe they'll grow on me eventually. But for the moment, the rounds, the standard rounded blocks are much better. So you can see there we've got a corner of a standard rounded. They're far, they're far better than they originally were, but there's still some deformation issues with them. But if we actually pick number six and have a look at this one, this is one that doesn't actually deform. So you've got the option. If you want the deform on, I don't know why you would, then it's there. 
but otherwise you've got this as well. So that is pretty much it for this patch. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see what's actually going to be coming out next week.